my name is Diane. Uh, I currently work as a casual in customer service at Tea Tree Valley Library. My ultimate goal is to complete a PhD and one day be an academic and try and give back some of the knowledge um, that you know, uh, my education has provided me with. Uh, so my PhD is in international criminal law in post-conflict environments. Uh, I'd love to teach and research in the area. Um, I'd also maybe like to work in peace building in post-conflict situations as a peace practitioner. When I was growing up, my home was not a safe place for me to be quite a lot of the time. Um, in fact, I didn't have a home quite a lot of the time. For me, public libraries were somewhere that I could go to be safe and relax and read. Um, so I would literally spend hours at Tea Tree Valley Library and other public libraries devouring books. Um, local librarians taught me how to use computers and I learned how to do things like search the internet and I was able to find topics that I was really interested in and, you know, read as much as I could about them. Before I got this job at Tea Tree Valley Library, um, I'd finished my undergraduate degree and spent a couple of years working in hospitality um, and other various random jobs um, and I just felt so directionless and I didn't feel like I really had a purpose um, and I started thinking about how I wanted my life to look and what was important to me and what had been important to me in the past. And it came back to, you know, my first experiences where I ever felt safe and happy um, and like I could do anything and achieve things that I wanted to do. And that was in libraries. Um, and so I started to look into how to be a librarian. Um, I started my graduate diploma and the week I started, I applied for a job here and very luckily um, got the job and have been working here ever since um, and it's been just as life-changing um, my experience as an adult in libraries as a child because I found so much meaning in my job. Libraries were absolutely critical for me to get even the most basic education and I don't think that I would you know be where I am today without them.